Hey everyone, today we're going to compare the Dell Precision 5540 with MacBook Pro M1. So we're going to see the difference in terms of design and display difference, performance. Right, so this is a 15 inch laptop whereas MacBook Pro is a 13 inch laptop. You can clearly see this one is pretty huge. Both laptops are space gray. However, I can see some minor difference in the color. At the back, you can see Dell laptop model has been mentioned here, Precision 5540. This is the heat exhaust can see here two rubber support feet these i suppose are the speaker so the mac is plain and simple there is nothing much here apart from the rubber feet support which is placed in four corners okay now looking at the io port on the left hand side of dell laptop we can see there is a headphone jack usb c port hdmi usb 3.0 and a power connector looking at the mac mac has only usb 4 thunderbolt ports two of them now on the right hand side of the laptop we have a kensington lock and a battery indicator, USB 3.0 and SD card slot. On the Mac, there is nothing much, only the headphone jack here. Looking at the thickness, the Dell is definitely thick. You can see here the difference. And also it's too wide. The Dell laptop is huge and heavy. It weighs more than two kg. Whereas the MacBook is lightweight, it's 1.4 kg. Right, the, you can clearly see the Dell laptop is really huge because of this 15 inch display. The, the MacBook display literally looks small. Dell laptop screen is impressive because the bezels are very small. When compared to Mac, you can see the screen is smaller. However, it's compact, but the bezels are very huge. The side bezels are similar, a bit thicker on the Mac. I hope we can see significant improvement in the upcoming Mac. Or they can have end-to-end -end display similar to Dell. The display on the Dell is a full HD display with a resolution of 1920 into 1080 Whereas the display on the Mac is a 2.5K display. It has a resolution of 2560 into 1600 with 227 ppi. Whereas the Dell laptop has a pixel per inch of 191. This particular model is not a touch screen. As you may confuse with the other model, it looks similar, but this one is different. Now let's check comparison of a 4K image and see which screen is better All right now both the laptops have a 4k image this image has a lot of colors so i selected this particular image and you can see on the dell laptop the image is brighter however the color saturation is less when i compare to the macbook Okay, let me check from a different angle. If you notice in the MacBook, you can see the contrast level is really good compared to the Dell laptop and therefore the colors look richer in the MacBook. Alright, I'm going to play 4K video on both the laptops and we're going to compare the difference. So it goes 1, 2, 3. Okay, Dell laptop is not able to stream 4K, it's hanging in between, whereas the 4K video in Mac is running smooth. Let me pause this and I'm going to reduce the quality. Let's check HD. Alright, so I've reduced the quality to HD here since it's not able to process 4k whereas the mac is still running on 4k you can see the white looks a bit yellowish it's because of true tone i'm gonna disable true tone and then we can check the comparison Right, so I've disabled True Tone and both the laptops are at full brightness. Okay, 
I have to admit the brightness on the Dell laptop is a bit better. The whites are more bright here compared to the MacBook. And the best thing is there is no blacks on the screen here when watching in full video. However, in Mac you can see this black bar although the screen is still here. Let's quickly check the typing efficiency on both the laptop and the trackpad. Now I'm typing on Dell. So I'm typing. Keyboard buttons are not bad. Let's check the trackpad. Okay, it's good. However, I can see that there is a slight lag when I am doing this zoom, which I can feel it. But it's not bad. Coming to the Mac. The Mac keyboard is excellent, but uh, I can't do the zoom feature in this notepad. It doesn't support it. However, I can show you the trackpad in the screen. For example, I can move around to different desktop with this by just with three fingers and I can add additional desktop by just hitting the add button. And I can see all the application with the five finger gesture. When I'm browsing the web, I can use the trackpad to zoom in. It's really smooth, you know. All right, I'm going to run the CPU benchmark on both the systems. The Dell laptop has a higher specification. It has i7 with 32 GB RAM, whereas the Mac has 16 GB of RAM with M1 chip. So let's check out which one has a better score. The CPU benchmark is completed in the Mac, whereas in Dell it's still running. We have the results over here. Single core is 1729, whereas multi core is 7245. We are still waiting for the Dell to complete the CPU benchmark. Okay, so it's completed. Right, so the results are here. So we can see single core is 968, whereas multi core is 4575. So clearly the winner is M1 chip. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and like my channel. Cheers.